talking about taxes. If your tax attorney, your tax preparer gets you a refund five years in a row, the one year you got to pay taxes, you ready to jump ship? Come on, <laughs> All about yes. the players. Nah. Ashley, yes. <laughs> I want to have Drake. Drake, Drake you know what? Hey, Drake. Here's the thing with that. I may not be ready to jump ship, but we need to have a conversation to figure out why the hell are things so exactly. different now. And I don't think that's happening. I don't think that they have had that come to Jesus moment where they're saying, "Brad, what the hell's going on with us? Why are we 500? We got three, two All Stars this year. Three in the last two years. We got this young buck upcoming in, in Robert Williams the third. We got a great late round still in Peyton Pritchard who's balling. And I looked up and we have 500 teams. And come on, Grace. Hey, but who put together that roster? So Danny H. Exactly. We just went over this. Drake, exactly. Drake, Drake. Keep it coming. Go, <laughs> keep it going. He likes hey. this. It, 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 like Bill Parcell said, at least let me shop for the groceries. Well, the groceries that Danny oh, has bought yeah, isn't going to yeah. give you a full meal. You know, the problem <laughs> with the Celtics, they got too many finishers and not enough facilitators. Boom. You know, they, like, Boom. Tatum's yeah. a finisher. Brown, even Kemba yeah. is a scoring point guard. It's not like he's a facilitator. So when you talk yeah. about trades, I know y'all mentioned Lonzo Ball has been mentioned out there. That's Ball. not going to happen. It ain't going to happen, but they need somebody like that. Something somebody like that. that can impact the game without scoring. They don't have that right now. Drapes, can you hear me? Yes. Let me ask you this question, okay? Yeah. Why does Ke why is Kemba on this roster to begin with? Ooh. I can tell you. I can answer what Drapes is here, first of all. They no, but <laughs> sure. But but the real reason They're is so mad about that. <laughs> the real reason it was a mad scramble because Kyrie Irving left, okay? Yeah, Which right. was a guy that Danny provided for Brad. OK, and for whatever reason, it didn't work. OK, what what is the major reason that they're struggling right now? Gordon Hayward, who Danny got for this team, who was a talented player, didn't want to play out his contract. And you also had Al Horford leave, which we all discussed. So, again, Danny, you might pin this specific roster with the players left in it on Danny Ainge and say this was an ill-fitting team. But how much of it was a mad scramble trying to make up for a bunch of unforeseen circumstances where players that you got and you brought in didn't even finish their contracts here? Exactly. And where does that problem lie? Where does that problem lie? That, that, that's that's on Danny because he's chasing on Danny. Yeah, he's chasing fully bad money with good, good money with bad. Like don't double down and make more mistakes. John, the real Who was against is, Kemba last year? Who was against the Kemba signing? Nobody. nobody That's his revision. Is, yeah. They got declining assets. Think but who? Everybody everyone thought that was there. a great signing last year. That Danny did it and he pulled a rabbit out of the hat. Everyone thought it was a great signing last year. They did. Because of who they lost, who he was placed. But he was still, it was like, wow. And Kemba was the prize free agent of that class. All and right. Dan, Danny snuck in and got him. And everybody was very for it at the time. And now it's easy to say, this team looks like a mess because nah, you're right. Nah, they're nah. all, they're all, give me the ball <laughs> scorers. <laughs> Danny's not going to hire you as an ass his assistant next week, big fella. Calm down. Here's the problem. <laughs> you got three first-round draft picks that aren't doing anything for your roster right now. Neesmith, Grant Williams, Romeo Langford. You can't miss on so many draft picks. Even Rob Williams has been slow to develop. And so, sure, Danny's been able to get the stars, but he hasn't been able to fill out the roster. He yeah, he missed, he, he, he and that's the problem. He's misfired on drafts for sure the last couple of years. Those two missed lottery picks. If you have a different player in there, it's a totally different team. Danny owns that one 100%. I'm not put Rob's development. Why why didn't Rob develop faster? He wasn't ready. He wasn't playing. Come on, but that's one of the issues too when you team that now you don't have time to develop these young guys. First of all, you're trying to win ball games. But let's get back to Danny, Jeff Teague. Good signing or not? Jeff Teague is time, irrelevant. At the time, it exactly. seemed like a decent He's signing. Irrelevant. That's your backup yeah. point guard. That he costs two million dollars. If the if if your if the success of your team hinges on your tenth player that you spent two million dollars oh. in in the off season, oh. you're screwed. Sherrod, tell. Mm -hmm. He the big disappointment is Tristan Thompson. The, the, that's the, the Thompson problem. is the Thompson that's is yeah. the miss. That's Thompson the is the miss. Not you are you are able to mitigate the signing of team by the play of Pritchard. Pritchard has given you pretty much what you would have wanted to have gotten from T. So that you 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 got lucky with that one. But Tristan Thompson, he, he's not helping you. He's a good offensive rebounder, and that's it. 
And, and Drake, you, you sure? know they had high hopes on him. You know they was thinking he was going to come in and not be like an owl, but at least in the locker room, you know, that kind of got to get everyone refocused. The anchor on defense, he has not been that and guy. And people love that signing too. Exactly, yeah. but it didn't pan out, John. Everybody it's it. a miss. Uh, Danny Danny deserves a huge piece of the blame pie as well. But you're not telling me that Brad, Brad Brad's getting Brad's allowing this team to be the best version of itself right now. It's just not <laughs> happening. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Make Miss Lee. Brad any different than the guy that coached him to three out of four Eastern Conference Finals? Like, but t- tell me your Brad shortcoming. Please, I let me a- let me ask you okay. this: If you have a team, if you have a team that consistently starts <laughs> poorly, I was ready. shows shows yeah, yeah. Shows, shows lack of effort yeah. and finishes horribly, where do you look at there? Okay, like again, this these are these are problems of effort. The team does not come out early in games and play well, and has the worst fourth quarter execution in the league right now. <laughs> but just and remember, years ago, it's not even close. The best fourth quarter teams. Remember, just a few years ago, we were talking about the Celtics never yeah. say die attitude. We were talking about the Celtics saying never, they're never out of the games. When do they we used put to, the blame? They used to buy players? it to their coach, man. They used to buy it to their coach. Drake, the we're players. not saying one person is to blame. We're we're not saying one person to bl- is to blame. What I'm saying is, what we're saying is, no one is above reproach here. Okay, D- Brad is not bulletproof in this scenario right. at all. There's, okay. Dr- yeah. Drake, there's, there's only two common threads from those teams that you talked about that were great fourth quarter executions and the team that we have now. And those two threads are called Danny Ainge and Brad Stevens. Mm-hmm. Hey. So hey. If, if, you're, if we're trying to figure out just how to, to distribute the blame, I think you need to start with those two because they are, again, does this mean that you get rid of Brad? No, I don't think you should do that because, frank, frankly, I don't think you can find somebody better than him, to be candid with you. Right. Uh, does that mean that you got to get rid of Danny? Because as John pointed out, he has had some major hits uh, since he's been there. But it's not about what you hit on previously. It's what are you hitting on right now? Are you positioning us to be great? And the thing, that point that you made, Drapes, that I thought was a good one, was how those first-round picks... Ugh. Exactly. I mean, you're getting nothing <laughs> out of... Good point, <laughs> I know. <laughs> It only it only took him like it only took eleven years to get that one point. Oh shit.